Hello, my name is Kayla Myers. Thank you for joining me today for the demonstration on encrypted keywords. The encrypted alpha keyword module allows alphanumeric keyword types stored in the Andes database to be encrypted. I'm going to show you how to go ahead and encrypt these keywords. So let's go to our configuration client, select keyword, and keyword types. We're going to go ahead and create a new keyword called an employee social security number keyword. And select create. For this demo, I'm actually going to use alphanumeric and select a max length of nine digits. And then in our advanced tab, here's where we can select the encryption we want to use. If you select the encrypt 128 AES, this option is the standard encryption method. Um, keywords encrypted in obvious version previous to obvious 14 do use this method. The encrypt keyword 256 AES um, is a more secure encryption method, um, but it can only be used with keywords that were created in obvious 14 or later. So just keep that in mind when configuring your encryption and what version you were originally on or have been on in the past. So let's go ahead and do the encrypt keyword 256. It's just going to verify you really want to encrypt this, um, this keyword with this warning here. So make sure you read through that. We're going to select yes. And then I'm not going to make any other changes at this time. So I can go ahead and save my new keyword. Great, my keyword was just created, so this is now going to encrypt this keyword in, in the Ambase database. But I want to set up some encryption um, security masking as well. So I'm going to select my masking here. Down in the security masking area, I want to identify what my mask symbol is going to be. Uh, recommendations would be either the asterisk or the pound. Um, so I'm going to use that. And then I want to set up my actual masking. So I want to have the first five digits of my social security number mask. So I'm going to use five M's. And then the rest of the social security number, so the last four digits, can be shown. So I'm going to use the A. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. You can also test your masking here. Uh, but for today, we're just going to go ahead and save this. And then I'm going to apply my employee social security number to a document type. So I'm going to select my document types here. This is a newer way to apply keywords to document types. Um, added in on the 16, I believe. And we can go ahead and close here. And close down this keyword view. So now we want to go ahead and upload a document in Tombase and actually see how this works. I'm going to log into my Tombase community client. And just to make sure I have all the security I need, I'm just going to log in with the manager account to upload the document and to provide all the keywords. to upload. All right, so let me select my HR resume. And let's go ahead and import this last name. And then again, as a reminder, I logged in with the manager account. And the manager account has access to see the keywords without any masking. So if I select keywords, I can see everything here. So let's go ahead now and log in with an HR user who does not have the access to see a social security number. They only can see the masking. I just have a generic HR user account created. Of course, your organization should have real user accounts, not generic ones, so that way you can track what users are doing. 
And we're going to go ahead and log in with this generic HR user account. We have a document retrieval for our resume. So you know that we uploaded it today. So let's just add our date right here today and do a find. Hey, here's our resume from Mary. So again, if we open this resume and we look at the keywords, now you'll see that the employee social security number is Matt. So we can only see the last four digits of that social security number because this user account does not have access to see the entire keyword. There are a lot of things that you're able to mask, and there are some um, items that masking does not work on. So please contact us for more information on this, and I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you so much.